this might come off as something everyone should know but you'll be surprised at the amount of people that quit when they don't get what they want at the first try hello and welcome back to my channel my name is senti and i'm a youtuber based in birmingham recently i started reading this book the compound effect and this has actually made me really really think about all the times i gave up on things i was doing just because i did not get the outcome i wanted immediately youtube for one is one of the things i gave up and this is just one thing out of several other things there are certain activities we start and when it gets hard we automatically want to give up and say this is not for me it's so easy for us to look at other people and assume that because they are very successful at what they do they have it easy going for them but we forget that they don't show us everything we don't see their struggles we don't see their sleepless nights we don't even see the times where they doubted themselves or the days they questioned what they were doing or the days that they struggled or the times they got it wrong the consistent thing about these people is that they kept on going have you ever been scared of a challenge you picked up and you feel that you might not complete that challenge I've always felt like that with some of the things I do, but that did not stop me from actually starting. There's no magic bullet, secret formula, or quick fix. You actually have to put in the work. I'm not going to lie, not starting at all, giving up and quitting feels like the easier thing to do, especially when the results are slow. Backstory. I'm this type of person that loves capturing the moment. I, talk, I love taking videos, love taking pictures of people and all of that. It's so bad that my friends, they call me the content screen. And even though these people can see how happy I am doing all these things I'm doing, there was a time I still felt very incomplete. I remember how many times I gave up creating content on YouTube because I was not getting the engagement and views I thought I deserved. But what this slow growth has shown me is that I can be better. I can be better with my craft. And it took me some time to get to this stage, but I'm here now. I had to pick myself up and this didn't take one month or two months. It took over six months for me to get back into the headspace of doing what I actually enjoy. And I realized I was very happy when I didn't have any expectations for my channel, other than my personal growth, growing in my creativity and getting 1% better at every upload. The thing about growing and getting 1% better is that in the long run, you will see the minute changes you've made become big. It can start off with something like just planning out your content for the week. And at the end of the month, you realize that you've been consistently posting and uploading videos every week because of that little change you made. I always ask myself, what does success mean to you? For me, it means not giving up. It means uploading my content consistently. It means doing what I said I'm going to do, irrespective of how I feel. Our choices can either be our best friend or our worst enemy. They can either take us closer to our goals or take us further away from it. Every decision we make alters the trajectory of what's going to happen. It's either we plan the content or we don't. It's either we shoot the video or we don't. It's either we edit and post or we don't. Every choice has an impact. Here are some of the things I do to help me keep going. The first thing I do is I remember my why. Why am I doing this? When you can work out your why, nothing is going to move you off course. Just as a weak desire brings weak results, a strong desire will also bring strong results. When you're passionate about something, you're going to move heaven and earth because that thing is important to you. This is what has helped me recently when times got rough. I just had to remember my why. The second thing is start easy. When I go back to the rhythm of making videos again, I started small. I made my recording process easy. There's this book I read earlier this year. The name of the book is Atomic Habits. And there was something I saw in the book that stuck with me and it has changed the way I do things. It was whatever habit you want to pick up, make it easy. And this has changed the way I do things. Whenever I want to do something, I make it easy so that when it's time to implement, I don't get discouraged by how difficult or hard it is. The third is seek inspiration. I follow content creators that inspire me to be the best version of myself, whether it's their editing style or their act of storytelling. Take notes, I don't mimic them. I use them to find my style and something unique to me. I also use them to have my creativity boost. <laughs> I realize that when I watch some of my favorite creators, I get a jolt of ideas and it's like the creative part of my brain just opens up. And finally, set realistic goals. Set achievable goals for yourself, break them down into smaller tasks and work towards them. This is going to help you stay focused and motivated. This is something I do all the time. I always thought I had to set goals like get 1000 subscribers or get monetized on YouTube. Don't get me wrong, these goals are good, but these are things I can't really control. Ever since I started focusing on goals I can control as opposed to the ones I can't, 
everything just became easier now my goals are things like upload twice a week now what this is going to help me do is that it's going to help me be consistent on youtube it's going to also push out my videos out there to a wider audience and in return i'm also going to get maybe more subscribers and with that people are also going to watch my videos and give me the watch time i need to get monetized it's very important that you stay strong and you don't give up because if you do that you're going to get those results at the end. You're going to finish strong and you'll be very, very proud of yourself. I want you to know something. If you take anything out of this video, let it be this. You can achieve anything if you don't talk yourself out of it. And if you're still thinking of starting that YouTube channel or your content creation journey, or you're looking for a reason to start anything, I highly recommend you check out this video where I talk about all the difficulties I had and how YouTube has helped change my life. If you got to the end of this video, thank you very much for sticking to the end and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!